Welcome back. You're still watching The Spot. It's time for us to check out today's spot of music. And it's from No More Loss, um, who recently passed away. And the song is Iyawo Asiko. Different. Like, look at the dancing. He directed look, all the, the videos. He was the Clarence of the time. So yeah, he was Odima. Yeah. Okay. He did yeah. every single video at the time. Wow. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and he directed so, my first mm -hmm. show I ever did. My, the second show I ever did on TV. The, the, the one where you went around Nigeria? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so basically the song is, is about this girl who's cheating. And um, it was originally, the song itself was originally done by Orlando Owo. So he then did, you know, he got the hook and then twist. he modern, yeah, he modernized it, gave it a bit of a modern And it was a twist. smash hit as well with him. Such a smash yeah. hit with him, yeah. No more loss. Extremely talented guy. He was one of those people who I always, who I used to say then that if there was ever like an SNL in Nigeria, Saturday Night Live, yeah. he would be perfect for it because he was funny. Yes. He could act, he could sing. sing. He could do impressions. Yeah. So he was one of those. He was multi-talented. Yeah. Just saying was and it's scary. But I know. I mean, he would have fit into that SNL platform perfectly. Perfectly. Yeah. I saw him perform at a Christmas. Uh, like a brand was doing a big Christmas party, and they called him to come and sing. And it was the first time I think I'd seen him live because it was a small, well, smallish group. Yeah. And he came and he was. Um, you know, talking to the crowd. He was such a showman. And yeah. I was very surprised because I just looked at him. I always, I always thought he was just kind of gentle and quiet and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Oh, but he's, a, he's, very, uh, he's very full of life. Yeah, and, very much so. That's first, my animated. first interaction with him. So, yeah. yeah. And this is one of my favorite songs to date. This song still cheers me up. I yeah. love it so much. I remember listening to him. My dad was like, what do you know about that? And I remember there's a particular phrase in the song. It goes, and it's so funny because I used to practice that line because I would always get it wrong until I got it right. So I always smile when I sing the song because it, it reminds me of, um, of, of just learning yeah. the song. Rest but in peace, man. Rest in peace. We're so sad you passed. Thanks for sure. leaving your imprints yeah. uh, the signs of time and being such a great guy. I met him a few times as well. I, I wouldn't say we're friends. Yeah. I mean, but I mean, I met him a few times and he was quite always very warm and yeah. full of life. Yeah. Okay. Rest in peace. Okay. Let's try and brighten things up a little bit. Yes, let and us almost do that. literally because our next guest is <laughs> one hell of a ball of fire. Mm. Even his hair says so. <laughs> he's a singer, he's a, a lyricist, yeah. a performer, an artist, amongst many other things. Please put your hands together for the internationally known and acclaimed Burner Boy. It's Burner. They call him. Hi. Wow. Well, how are you doing? Oh, nice man. to meet you. Have a seat. Walks up. <laughs> this is this is a yeah. I like the hairdo. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> What's your shoe size? Ah, uh, I forgot, man. Forty-five. Um, I just want to know if it's my it's size. <laughs> so I can. Don't answer that, because you might not leave here with me. No, he's a nice guy. Actually, you can give it to me. There's nothing there. Definitely. At this permanent. Take the hat. Well, the bottom one, kinda. Let me see. Really? Yeah. Can the cameras just see it? It's actually not for fashion as people think. So, so what is it? it for? It's actually like braces. Oh. Right? But like. Okay. Yeah, but like. It's is not. that your story? Well, it's, for, it's, it's like for, Invisalign, like, but not invisible. Yeah. <laughs> right, basically, so basically, I got this dentist, Alex, in South Africa. And okay. He just seen me randomly and saw my teeth and stuff. And then I thought I had really cool teeth. <laughs> everybody thinks, okay, not everybody. Nah, I literally yeah. thought my teeth were the best. <laughs> yeah. No, and then he showed me they actually weren't. <laughs> oh, so he was like, let me, and then you were like, all yeah, right, yeah. I'm going to do the... Yeah, and then it was actually, so I just styled it out. So how, how long are you going to wear this for? Are you supposed to wear it for? Oh, uh, man, I take it out at night. Okay. Oh, okay, both? Okay. No. Just the one it's, on top? Yeah. Mm. So this one's a permanent? For now. For now, until yeah. like until it's straight, and then you have to take them out. I actually got like three, two weeks left. Yeah. 
Okay. Nice. Yeah. nice. And they're nice real nice. gold, right? Yeah. So if you can just punch you and pull them out. <laughs> and go Don't and give people it. ideas. <laughs> see. Say, please. find it, see. Find please, it, see. Please, for us, for us. I've actually had a few people think about that. <laughs> but not for long, right? No, they didn't no, think about no. it for that long. That's a good right. man. Congrats on the new cool, album. Man. Yeah. yeah. Man. I, I have that that bumps that quite a, yeah. quite a yeah, bit in my car as well. Are you happy with what how it's doing so far? I mean, it's all right. It's cool, you know. But at the end of the day, there's always, I mean, it's always, I always got too much to put out you know so right now i'm actually trying to i've actually shot almost all the videos for the and the album so i'm actually finding a way to actually let them all out so i can move wow. <laughs> you have a video for almost every song almost every yeah wow that's a lot of work Trust and me. a lot of money yeah man i mean <laughs> it's, it's like look look at it like this it's like an investment you know right okay. oh, yeah. how, how i've always tried to understand how that helps an artist's yeah. career Videos. Mean videos. Is I it mean, just exposure, or what else does it give? I mean, other than exposure, it makes you like who you are. Really, it makes as far as people are concerned. Do you shows understand? Them your style. Yeah, like it shows you them who are. you are. It's like if it wasn't for videos, none of you would know what I look like. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you like know my songs. Sia, we don't know who Sia is. You yeah. know, <laughs> yeah, you know, the you know my yeah, you know my <laughs> songs, but you wouldn't know, you know, yeah. the actual me. Yeah. yeah. You know, so t that's what videos do. It helps you, you know, show yourself, not necessarily just your music, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so I have a question, because we, we showed a video um, of yours a while ago, and right. I was just talking about the style of the video. Right. And like, do you have a lot of input in the story? Like, do you say, this is what I want, and then you get a director to, to do that, or do yeah. you guys collaborate? How do you get that sort of I mean, out? that's what I did for the longest time, and I kind of still do. But at this point, I've actually met like someone that actually thinks in the same We've learned Matt Max. I don't know if yeah. you know. Okay. Yeah, he actually, like, well, before I think of something, he already, you know, he, he so it's it. that chemistry. We have that chemistry going on. So, yeah. That's mm. And you do a lot of different things. Because, I mean, yeah. uh, the that's Like to Party about. was such a chill. Then yeah. you did Yawadi, we're like, wait. To this day, <laughs> where is this grime life? from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Yawadi was crazy. Yeah. You know? yeah. I mean, you, you do a lot of. Yeah, I mean, different. that's 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 what keeps me alive, you know, because I have a really short attention span. You know, so once is I, that a warning? <laughs> <laughs> I might just uh, get up and leave. No, no I mean, like all like you that. ladies. <laughs> like, no, I mean, uh, no, uh, I wasn't even say. going there. Hey, no, my attention span I mean, is really low. I mean, like in the sen the sense I mean is like pretty much musically. Like I get if I do this because I'm uh, I'm really spontaneous. I come up with stuff quickly, and as soon as I come up with it and it's out there, it's cool for a bit, and then I get bored of it and I want to change. You know, that's how the, mm -hmm. you know everything is. You know, I just like to. To keep it, it changing because people like to copy my style, so <laughs> go, go. You might as well make it hard yeah, for them to yeah, <laughs> switch yeah, it up as soon as it starts up. catching on, and you know, it's cool. Yeah, who do you admire the most in the current crop of artists we have now around uh, Africa? It doesn't yeah. have to be Nigeria, but like Africa. I haven't really, really thought that one through. Hmm. Um, <laughs> Boy, I might He's need some time shade. for that. Yeah, you can think about yeah, it. Let's take a break. Some time for that. Uh, when we come back, we're going to be finding out Bernard Boy's answer Definitely. and talk a little more with him before we go into our topic of the day. So stick around, please. Welcome back. You guys are still watching The Spot. And uh, we've been joined by Burner Boy. If you don't know who he is, well, I don't know what to tell you. Um, <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> Where have you been? Yeah. So before the break, I asked him who he admired. Have you thought about it? Yeah. Um, yeah, who you admire on the continent. Like our current crop. Yeah, not just the one who you think is doing well. Yeah, who's it doing well, who you be, like, who you vibe with. people doing well, you know. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's always the, in Nigeria, you know, there's always the, legends as you can see, you call them you know the two faces and yeah the, you know and at the same time there's the us generation where it's like the person i really admire is alarm he's one of the only people that's not scared to do what he wants like me you get me like, as often as he wants yeah because yes. like, dude is prolific yeah, he'll just five drop, tracks yeah, on <laughs> that's, that's the type of that's the type of vibe i like you know mm. yeah yeah you, you, the, the music scene now is extremely competitive you know i, was I don't think with, so I was, I was talking with someone in the older mm. Uh, Maybe for league, them it's a... <laughs> you know, and they're just like, you <laughs> know what, it's like there's a new star every day, yeah, you know, and true. doing great things and all of that. Do you, okay, so obviously you don't agree with that one. Yeah, why? I mean, I agree that there's a new star every day, but I don't agree that there's competition. I agree that there's competition when there's somebody who's trying to be somebody else. Do you understand? Okay. Maybe, 
I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't really say. I would, I would gladly say lacking. it, but you know, there's cameras and stuff. I don't want to. No, why not? No, <laughs> say you it. You know, there's the one thing I actually do like you for is that you say it you like say it. I've yeah, interviewed you on another show before, and I know yeah, how yeah, definitely. You, you like so, to speak I mean, your mind. For example, man, if somebody, let me use myself for an example. Mm -hmm. I came out, did the like to party thing, the whole Versace, whatever. Yeah. And then obviously there's other people coming after me who's tried the same situation now. Be the, the outside world would look at it like, okay, this is competition for this guy because this guy it's is like right. this guy. Yeah. yeah. Do you understand? But when in all reality, if it wasn't for this guy, this guy wouldn't even know what to do because <laughs> he just he's, started following. He's not original. He do you just understand? So I, that's that's where I just feel like it's not com just, it's not really competition, you know? Yeah. You 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 are in the what genre do you do? I don't know. <laughs> just, I call it Afrofusion. It's like okay. it's my own. Because yeah. you sound you sound very unique. Mm -hmm. And um, at the same time, you can trace yeah. something. You're like, oh, this yeah, sounds like. There's an African like... to this yeah. and all of that. I mean, I'm, yeah, a man. lot of these younger cats, there's that accusation that they all sound alike. And everybody wants to do the same thing. Yeah. So do you think there's quality in the industry? Which is, I mean, which is why you would be able to say there's competition because everybody wants to sound alike. So everybody wants to pick the best one of this sound that sounds like this. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. I mean, it's not really a situation where it's as deep as saying or oh, this these two. You know? right. we, we don't have that situation now here. We have one person that's done something and <laughs> a whole bunch of people copying. Exactly. Okay. You know? so that's he said it, I just rephrased. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of like we started our free. topic actually. Yeah. Pardon? <laughs> we started talking about our topic today. Yes. Yes. Because we're talking have about yeah, um, today, we're supposed to be discussing awards. Oh, boy. Versus? Yeah, versus or, uh, talent. Awards versus talent. Yes. Yeah, oh, wow, and, that's a um, nice one. I like that. Yeah, we're, supposed <laughs> to speak, we're trying to zero in on the fact that, you know, there are people who, I mean, there's been so many instances around the world where, you know, Awards mm. are controversial because True. certain mm -hmm. artists um, like were not we're nominated, nominated or, or didn't, didn't win, win. Mm. or and or spoke up. Yeah, mm. you know about you being one, of course, yeah. <laughs> on a few occasions. Probably the first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, yeah. let's talk about that now. Why why are awards first of all so important? Man, I mean they're so important to certain. It depends on how you see it. You know. If you see, if you feel like it's important to you, yeah. then that's probably what you're working for. Yeah. You know, okay. if it can be something that is important to you, but it's not really important to you at the same time. You know, because it's like if you do it, if you get it, cool. If not, you're still, you know. But other times, it's more of a life and death situation mm -hmm. where, <laughs> boy, if I don't get this, then oh, I might not be able to. You won't get that yeah. much validation. Yeah. Or, you know. Yeah. And I feel like that's really, that's among the people that, as I'll bracket the composition bracket. Yeah, who need that. Yeah. Who need that validation. Sorry. Do you understand? So that's, that's, that's the way I see it. And I feel like, ooh, I don't know if it's an African thing or it's a world thing, because I, I can only speak for what I've seen. Yeah. But in this day and age, it's very easy for them to mistake the fact that, how do I put this on? It's easy for them to mistake the fact that them getting these awards and how they got the awards, which they know. <laughs> <laughs> do you understand? It's yeah. more artistic. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like yeah. how they got the award, which they know. Somewhere along the line, it's almost like they begin to forget or try to lie to themselves mm -hmm, that, mm -hmm, oh, this mm -hmm. is. I'm actually great. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Which is where <laughs> the, things start the, to fall the, apart. The, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I was so. gonna say. So now, do you feel it's important for? other artists say being nominated in a mm. category where you know other people have lobbied and yeah. won yeah. is it then imp is it important is it is it necessary to then say hold on hold on hold on you know you guys did this you know this person deserved it should is that is that the time to speak up no, or should to it be, be like honest, mm. to be honest i'd say no okay but at the end of the day we're people we're public figures you know yeah. we, we have fans most of the time the, sh the stuff you see is not really our it's, it's, it's us trying to please or okay. carry on the message that these yeah. people... For example, during the uh, MTV Awards... Which I you spoke up about. Yeah, I, pers I personally didn't care, you know, because I've never really cared about who was that deeply, you know. If it's I'll just walk out and go do another thing, you know. Mm -hmm. It's not really a big deal. But in this case, I've I had like over 100 fans just message for message. <laughs> Why are you not there? Why are you not there? Why are you yeah. not there? Okay. So I felt like... Boy, I have to say, I have to do something. Yeah. So I'm like, so I just said, okay, well, this is a situation as you can all see, bam, bam, that's that. You know, and then obviously now for the fact that I've said something, 
people now forget the fact that this is where it came from. Mm. You know, they're looking at it as more of me. Having like whining. beef yeah. or like yeah. beef, yeah, like when, whining or like... When, when that's not really the situation, you know. Yeah. It's more of me trying to uh, carry my fans, you know, and do what they want, please them. The you know? things that Bernard does for his fans. <laughs> oh, so self-sacrificing. Yeah. No. <laughs> We're going to take another break when we come back. We'll be looking at the yeah. Kanye example. And if that's what we call it sometime, <laughs> we'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to The Spot. We've been chilling, hanging out here with Burner Boy, talking about awards versus talent. Remember to chip in on the topic via Twitter, Facebook. You can always send us an email, however you want to do it. So we're talking awards versus talent. And um, Ibuka, before the break, was talking about the Kanye example. Yeah. When is it in poor taste? <laughs> the infamous, uh, the famous. I mean, I'm a Kanye stan, so he's never infamous. Stan. And this Kanye the famous. Self. Mm -hmm. moment when he walked on that stage <laughs> and took the mic, man. I'm going to let you finish, from, from but... It's definitely in, amongst the names that I was supposed to be calling about, you know, people I admire in the game. Okay. You know, definitely okay. can't you. So mm -hmm. do, do you think at like, that situation, I mean, a lot of, he did what a lot of people were thinking, mm. right? But doing it was like, ooh, did you really just do that? So oh, are there situations God. where it's ever right to sort man, of speak I just up feel like, instantly? As far as I'm concerned, I feel like him, he's a genius. <laughs> because like him doing it is not really he has a lot to gain from doing it yeah. if you notice after he did it he won every other thing <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay let's make kanye happy. don't encourage bad behavior <laughs> that's know. how people in nigeria be like eh but he's supposed to be me <laughs> no like that ain't when it. the people that's not supposed to be them go and do it you see that the reaction is different yeah well <laughs> Just, uh, well because yeah, <laughs> thank you very much for this oh, you're with, with the kanye one I mean, everybody was like come on Single Ladies was like the video and song and single of the year. Yeah. Exactly. So there was a strong argument for what he was for him speaking up. He just, but it was just his approach. The way he like, did it. Well, maybe we should be a little... I mean, on the know. other hand, there's also some weird stuff that, hap that can possibly happen sometimes where uh, maybe this guy is really not known, known around here. Maybe mm. we, we're both nominated for this <laughs> award. Mm. Everybody knows me. Yeah. Nobody really knows you, but yeah. there's this place in Bangladesh that everybody knows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so doesn't you get... Know, right, right. That's not really a situation that happens a lot, but yeah. it's a possibility, do you yeah. understand? So I can't really knock everybody like that, you know, yeah. but okay. at the same time, it's still political, you know? Yeah. yeah what do you good. think about awards, right? The fans vote. You know, it's... Or it's, voting it's, isn't... Yeah. If not necessarily even fans, but just voting is... Vote, but voting see, is widespread voting. Voting is, that's the, that's is the, you the see, criteria. You see, you see, that still goes back to what I was saying. It's more, I find it very disrespectful to not just the artist, but his fans. Mm -hmm. When it's, it's, it's like a no-brainer who has won this thing and which fans have voted the most. Yeah. And you go and do your political thing and get what you, you know, do yeah. what you've planned before. Mm. That on its own is very disrespectful to both the artist and his fans, which is why you might see the artist speaking out. Yeah. Do you understand? Because yeah. it looks like... Because you're, you're, you're speaking up for your fans at this point, right? Exactly. Okay. Do you understand? That's what I was trying to explain before. Because, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> I mean, we can't talk about awards in Thailand without talking about January t January 1st, 2016. Man, look. With the... <laughs> <laughs> I hope we had you oh in the show. Oh, my God. You guys were drinking back to back. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Where every song was a hit. Oh. You know, the Olamide versus Don Jazzy <laughs> issue. <laughs> It got settled very quickly, but yeah. I mean, it was such a crazy way to start the year, but it was an award show where yeah. people were like... What did you okay. think? What did what you, did you think, think when you saw that? What did you think? Wait, were you there? You, nah, were you at nah. the Hades? No, nah, yeah. I was, in, I was out of the country. Okay. Um, what did I think? <laughs> Wait. Man, I wasn't surprised or anything. It's not anything that surprised me in any, in any way, shape or form. <laughs> which of that, which of, what part? Nothing about to surprise me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know. I, always, I always think about thinking about talent and awards and all of that. I just thought about Kendrick Lamar now. Yeah. Oh. And uh, was it 2012 or 2013 yeah. when he had the most nominations? Grammy, uh, most, right? Gra most nominations the Grammy didn't win anyone. Yeah. yeah. When um, was the white dude's name? Not yeah. Beck. No, the guy who won Best <laughs> Rap Album. What's his name? No, not uh, um, the, the, yeah. Eminem. No, 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 no. The other guy. Um, the the guy, the, 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 the shop guy. Yeah. Macklemore. Macklemore. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> won, won, won four awards that yeah. night. Won Best 
rap nah, album. song was hot enough. Best rap artist. Mm. Yeah. And even when he won best album, he actually said, I don't think I deserve this. Yeah. This should be Kendrick's award. Yeah. You know? And I mean, most people were like, yo, Kendrick, never go back to the Grammys. Never yeah. submit your material again. Da, 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 da. But he's gone back and last year he won the most awards at the yeah. Grammys, you know? Yeah. So um, I'm, I don't want to think he believed the Grammys was going to define his career. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, see, that's my point. When you start feeling like that's what defines Find it, you. yeah. then you're in trouble. You know, because if that defines you, first of all, you're not a real artist. You understand? Because you're here. But they matter. They matter. They yeah, matter, yeah. Can't... They matter too. They definitely matter, obviously. But I can't say something matters that's not real. You know? Mm -hmm. If I know how much you paid for something and that... it's supposed to be free. <laughs> this shade you're throwing. Yeah. Woo! Okay. Listen, then... <laughs> Can you give us one at least two as paid? Just three Do you really want, want to... that? Yes. Yeah. Tell us. It's only three of us here. Just Am I allowed? Just give us one name. <laughs> I'm not allowed. Dang it. You're allowed. Who is not allowing you? The world wants to. <laughs> uh, management says no. If you catch me outside, outside the cameras, I'll definitely put you on. You know? <laughs> okay, if he tells us, we'll see if we remember to tell you guys. We'll see if we remember. <laughs> we'll exactly. See if we remember to tell you guys. Yeah, okay. remember to tell you guys. Yeah. Nice. Um, we've talked about, um, you said the Grammys are, is one thing you'd want to win. Yeah. Is there a reason why? To be honest, I like winning. I don't know if how this will make me sound right now, but that's your problem. Um, I actually like winning awards outside the country better than inside the country. Okay. Why? International recognition matters more? Uh, not that. I feel like it's more realistic. Prestigious? Apart from the prestige, I feel like Above if I, when I win that, I actually deserved it. Yeah, okay. You know? Like, it's, it's more of a thing, because I've been in situations where I've gone to like serious, serious ghettos outside the country. And the kind of love I got mm. is like, I try to give people money even. <laughs> and they don't take it. Like, if they had money, they would have given me type of situation. Aww. So those type of people, what are you going to tell them to make them give you an award yeah. Yeah. that you don't deserve? Yeah. Like, what are you actually going to do? <laughs> do you understand? That's, after that experience, this was actually, uh, I think it was the Metro's. Oh, okay. The Metro FM Awards and stuff. After I had won the award, I actually just said, let me go around these people and see you know, if it's mm -hmm. really real. Mm -hmm. And I went there and it was amazing. Yeah. You know, so that's the type of, that's the type of You get of the stuff love here. About. Definitely, it's my home, so, I love it. You know, it's well, just a different translate. type of love. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you understand? It's a way different type of love, which I love because, you know, but at the same time, it's very, inf uh, Authentic? Is it, is it? No, should I say influenceable? Oh, or? you mean here? Yeah, it's very. Oh, right. Okay, right. You know, it's it can here change. Now, it's, it's, it's not. not it's flaky, now. sort of. Yeah. You know, okay. Nigeria, Nigeria is the only place where the same people that hail you are the same people that. You know, it's like that all over the <laughs> world. <laughs> that guy, you know, so <laughs> <you understand? laughs> awesome. But at the same, at the, at, the, at the same time, why I feel like outside the country is way better to win an award, mm -hmm. like it means more. Yeah. It's because like when you win it there you know that there's people that actually made Love sure you it. did it. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that's, that's, that's really all it is. It's nothing, you know. Yeah, you spend a lot of time in SA. You like SA a lot. Is oh, it because you feel SA. like it's yeah. I mean, to be, honest, actually, to be honest, I actually don't spend that much time, that much time there. there. I just, spend probably as much time there, there as, as in the industry know, I, there. I just feel like I'm more, like, like my presence is felt more ah, there, even okay. when I'm not there. Because Very obviously, yeah, it, because obviously, like, I've got, I've got countless hits out there, you know, that are always on TV and always on, mm. you know, and when I come there, I'm actually doing, I'm not doing, just doing one show, I'm doing like a five bunch. shows. Okay, so okay. So when I leave, you become like it's like people think I'm still there. Very true, I mean, I was, I was at an essay club in February. Yeah. And uh, your songs came up and I was yeah. like, <laughs> like, that's my guy. That's yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's I guess genuine. genuine guy. <laughs> yeah, that's genuine yeah. type of love. Some people like from there actually think I'm from there. It's weird. Oh, really? I don't get it, but... <laughs> Yeah, that's that's that's. I guess what what I would get gain from or get from your explanation about you know international awards or getting awards out of your countries, you know that then it's more um, here. Okay, you they've watched you grow. Mm. It's more your people, so it yeah. could be friends and family. Yeah, but yeah, you're in a foreign land where there's, they have no reason Adam. to be nice to you. So if they like you, know you it's I mean? because what mm. you're it's doing connects you're with them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's my point. <laughs> you're just right trying there. to connect. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. What yeah. do you think about awards? What do I think about awards? I love when I get them. <laughs> <laughs> Who does? No, 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 yeah. no. But in general, I kind of I'm a little bit on the same sort of thought. I like when they are deserved. I like yeah. when they're authentic. I get 
about the ones where you vote, especially in my industry, to be mm. honest, for me, for like media, a lot of awards are, oh, vote for, vote for. Yeah. And I don't really like to, I feel like, lobby for that mm. because I feel like if you think I did a really good job, give me the award mm, because yeah. you think I did a job better than I did, yeah. those other people did. Mm. But not like I should now tell all my friends and my family to go and spend hundred dollars to text message. Because I feel like if I don't say anything, it doesn't mean I didn't do a good job. It just means I didn't, I didn't tell everyone to go vote. Exactly. And so they didn't go vote. Exactly. So, and then the organizers so, like, so, so really organizer blame situation. me. Like, why didn't you tell your fans? Yeah, yeah, why didn't you tell your fans? Because yeah. yeah. I thought sort I of deserved it. It messes with your mind a little bit. Okay, please share with us your favorite kind of awards. Do you prefer voting or do you like panels please share with us on facebook twitter instagram everywhere we'd love to hear from you we'll see you guys in a moment yeah. hey guys you're still watching the spot welcome back we've been chilling out with burner boy and uh, there's burner. something we'd like to okay <laughs> You know, you have you heard the introduction to his album? Yes. Like, why, you, why, you play so well? like, why would you do that? Who does that? <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying, man. No, you guys can't buy his album. Just listen to the <laughs> intro. Like, nobody does that. It's on iTunes now, right? What is yeah. wrong with you? I mean, what was the point of that? See, people are going to talk and have weird opinions, so you might as well use it to your advantage, man. You know? And open your album with. Yeah. Strategy. Yeah. It was interesting. I was just yeah. like, I mean, instantly I just was okay, I need to listen to this album. Yeah. Because I mean, this is the opening then. Yeah. Anyway, there's something we like to do on the show called Social Media Roundup, mm -hmm. where we get um, our viewers' feedback on the show. So um, we have Constance Monaghan from South Africa who says, you know what, my heart is very sore because I'm not working a nine to five, so I'm not able to watch a show. What does that mean? I'm now working a nine to five. I'm now sorry. working a nine to five. Oh, yeah. okay. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of interesting and enter entertaining topics. But I love you guys. Keep it going. Learn from Mzanzi. Hashtag Love Africa. We love USA, man. Yeah. Uh, it comes on at like more, 11. <laughs> yeah. We're going to oh, overtake man. him in the love uh, <laughs> side of things. Be there. <laughs> um, wow. From Wonder, Big Wonder, Machingura. Where is this? Where? That's real. That's real. <laughs> Big Wonder. Yes. Uh, sounds very Eastern or Southern African. I don't know. My first time watching this channel, the spot is just a good laid back magazine program. Thoroughly enjoyed it. We'll record it and watch all the way. It's very fresh. Thanks Thank for you. watching, man. Nice. Finally, from Uche Nendu says, and apart from maybe the Champions League, maybe, there's absolutely no other TV program that beats the spot. Yeah, and I said maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for watching, I anyways. I can't vex yeah, with that. We all love to hang with you guys. Yeah. Do you have a question no. for us? For a or for our award, award organizers? Hey, hey, stop trying to put this man in trouble. I'm already, I've been in trouble well, since the beginning of my you career. You need no help. You, you do it all by yourself. Is that delivery? No, I just... Or it just happens. You just say how there, you people, there are people who like to cut contracts. Let's just put it like this, man. When I came, I came as me. Do you understand? Like, I came straight from a bad situation into this, you know, and... The, you can't tell me anything because like for me to make it out of all that and then still you know be all this i mean damn i don't need i don't think i need to be hiding anything you know i want, I want to we, we had about a month ago a yeah. guest here bookie bookie yeah man right? that's it that's, yeah and she's a pr that's the plug. That. do you ever feel like you need damage control sometimes like how often does it happen <laughs> they do like, yeah i need to fix this <laughs> they do i don't i'm, I'm good so you just know, let things happen i mean to me i just take life as it comes man i don't i don't plan anything yeah. i don't i don't I'm, you don't you don't, you don't people, that's why that's why my album is called on a spaceship because people think i'm an alien or some weird <laughs> tip you know like, you're not one of us <laughs> yeah it's like i really don't care about what you care about and what you care about mm -hmm. I just it's, get, yeah, it's I really not TV. it really not it's really not my mind frame you know my mind frame is okay i'm gonna wake up tomorrow hopefully by the grace of god and when i do everything's gonna take care of itself you know <laughs> yeah. and if but, it doesn't then we'll try again the next day you yeah. know? but do you think that over time like Okay, for the, the example, when we were trying to convince you to throw some shade, yeah. and you were like, should I? And then you were like, okay, no, I'm not going to. Yeah. Where before, you, would you have even asked that question? Would you not have just Nah, it's it? because obviously there's been so many situations where, <laughs> you know, they yeah. have to, you know, so now Control. every interview I come to, they have to be there. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, well, don't say it. Don't yeah, say it. So do like this. Do like this. Make sure. <laughs> Does that affect your relationship with your colleagues, though? No, nah, I mean. With some of them, maybe. Well, colleagues, what do you mean industry, colleagues? Industry, in the industry, industry fellow artists. artists. Are they my colleagues? You're all artists, aren't they your colleagues? 
I don't see them. I don't see them in my crib. I don't see them coming to the house. My, I don't see them. We don't go to the office together or anything. Mm. So I don't feel like their colleagues were. So there's no connection. So you don't. Really nah, there's connections certain. with those people. There's this connection. Like Fino, Fino is like my best industry friend mm -hmm. because you know that's. Y'all are guys. That's, yeah, that's yeah. different. Yeah. You know, you de me and Fino, you can call colleagues because we're politicking and thinking. Yeah. You know, but if we've never sat in a room and thought about how we can make the future better. You can't be my colleague. This guy is throwing shade at that system. <laughs> All of you, you think you're his mate. You're not his mate. <laughs> Don't call Burner Boy's phone. He wants your friend. We're going to take a final break now and come back to round up the show. Burner Boy will still be in the house. Hopefully, dropping a few names. Maybe. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. Now. Welcome back, guys. We've been talking about awards versus talent on the show today. We have we have Burner Boy in the house, and um, I want to talk about respect. Um, and uh, both of these things we're talking about, uh, talent and awards and all of that. Um, I guess that's the ultimate goal, right? Yeah, man. Do Definitely. you think, honestly, that we, talented people are respected? Like, when is it just talent? Man. What, what do you think brings that respect sometimes? What brings that respect is, I, man, I don't do, the way it is, people, humans, the way we're set up, we're only set up to respect money. Achievement. Achieve, it's, you know, money and power, really, you know, yeah. achievement, all that falls into these brackets. And I feel like when you're talented and you haven't achieved these, this power and uh, uh, what, what you may call it. Mm -hmm then you can't possibly get that respect. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. Or if you don't have, if you're, if you're talented and you don't have this person or this person backing you. Yeah. Or, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, all, it's really political. Isn't, isn't that really messed up? That's really with, like, with life, I guess. But yeah, you, man. You find but, a lot in entertainment where yeah. you're like, you see someone who's an amazing actor mm. or an amazing comedian, mm. but there's no platform for him to go and stand and tell his jokes. Oh, so why didn't, artist, you see, that's the difference. You know? See, that's why I keep saying, uh, you can, my mind, the way I see it, that guy should blame himself as well. Mm -hmm. Because if he wanted it that bad, why didn't he run on stage when somebody was performing? And, <laughs> and take the mic, take the mic and say do something. Do you understand? Yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> Don't do it. You know, like if, I, if, if, I, if I felt like I was so talented and nobody was, was, was trying to give me that chance, you would take I would the take chance. the chance. Okay. You know, that's, that's the way my mind is set up. Yeah. But in Africa, obviously, we're, we, we come from a, a long line of you know submissiveness and you know which i don't know how god I'd, is in control yeah <laughs> god is in control but yeah, god so helps those who help themselves yeah do you understand if you don't help yourself god will probably look at you like what's wrong with you do you understand so yeah man <laughs> help yourself man help yourself, have you yes. helped yourself today <laughs> yes i believe i have thank you oh. okay all right well um that's a good note to sort of end the conversation, yeah. right? Yeah. So there's something else that we like to do on the show, which is either to share a pet peeve, which is something that just really pisses you off, or a sweet spot, which is something that makes you happy. Oh. Um, today is my pet peeve, and it has nothing to do with the subject. Um, today, my pet peeve is Nigerian businesses, or in general, just businesses. <laughs> I wa you know what? I won't even finish because <laughs> you businesses. Because Nigerian businesses, just like okay. businesses that make oh. it hard to patronize them. Like you want to. They might have a good product or something, but they make it hard for you to patronize them. Oh, you have nice things. I want to buy. Eh, so you have to call me between the hours of 7 and 12. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then you what? actually call. And then they're and rude. And they're rude or <laughs> someone doesn't pick or you, up. Or, or you have new stock, but it's not on your website. So am I supposed to come to your factory and do what? Stand outside? At like? Let me put it like this. Yeah. You see, Nigeria... And the difference between Nigeria and the rest of the world is we, this is not, in a, in a, this is not really a bad thing, mm -hmm. you know? We're not very serious people. <laughs> like, it's, not, it's not a bad it's thing. It's real talk, it's not really. It, it might not always be a bad thing. Okay. It might not always be a, for example, you can, for example, take our music. Yeah. In Nigeria, we'd rather listen to somebody that says absolutely nothing, nothing. that but you can dance to, mm -hmm. as opposed to listen to somebody who's telling you something that might help you. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. That's, that's, that really interprets in a lot of our living. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. In Nigeria, we'd rather certain... Just uh, easy breezy, man. Yeah, Nobody. certain mm. things than what to actually help us. Mm. Do you understand? So that's really... 
that we need to translate into our businesses, our schools. Yeah. Our, do you understand? To translate and into every aspect of our being, you know. And obviously, some of us who are very serious people are the ones that suffer. <laughs> Okay, like me, you too do, sir. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah. You know? They never give you like you're the one doing the wrong exactly. thing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe just this small song. Just sing. <laughs> you know? Just you it's it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Okay. 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 Do you have a pet peeve to share? Anything that pisses Anything you off? Anything that just really oh, man. ticks you off? Uh, I don't like shallow-minded people, really. Okay. You know, people that can't really... That How can't really you come across them in your industry? See, that's why I don't really go anywhere like that. You know, I'd, I'd rather do what I'm supposed to do, and you know, because because yeah, and just keep to myself and people, people that I can that relate you know, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because if not, then that's when you're going to start seeing Bernabe on the news for probably knocking someone out or something like that. You know? Okay, maybe you Please just don't knock anyone out, <laughs> <laughs> even if they're shallow. Just be like, I'm just gonna go home now. It's like you know, it's like <laughs> saying, it's like asking someone, yo, you need some water, there, and mm -hmm. you need some what normal water. And they're telling you, no, we have juice. <laughs> but I asked for water. Why didn't you just say, there's no water? I, I have juice, there. yeah. yeah. You I offer you juice, it's, yeah. It's crazy. But that happens a lot. It yeah. does. Yeah. But you like our juice. Yeah. But you like our juice. <laughs> or like you bring a menu, and, and then I'm cold. like, okay, I want chicken, we don't have. I want shrimp, we don't have. I want rice, we don't have. Oh. We only have pounded jam. Why didn't you just come here and say, we have pounded jam? Do you want pounded jam? <laughs> Why did you give me your menu in the first Ooh, place? my you goodness, see? yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Time for us to go, guys. I had an amazing time. Bonner Boy, thanks a lot for being here. Appreciate it. Hey, uh, thanks for not knocking out. Who would he knock out because he ain't me? <laughs> Stop. Hope we're yeah. nice enough to you. Yeah. And please say hi to your colleagues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.